Okay, check in. Sunday. Oh no, it's charging. It doesn't say the date. No! Sunday, June 23rd. It's 12.08. We were supposed to start the day at 10. Yes. Are you going to put in the trunk or the back seat? We just got here to get Katie. There's Sai. He also has, I know. He also has his little stuffy pumpkin and. Oh, I got my hair brush. What's the winter one? Slush. Slush. They're ready for a real He has his switch, headphones. We're heading on a slight road trip. We're going up to Denver. And yeah. So we're gonna go to the mall. Like, Maybe like, like, my sister. It's <laughs> like Katie. Oh, that's right. Katie has brought in her whole life. She can't help she's <laughs> well, they don't know that you are. Hold on, I wanna like pull hair. But oh, Today. Okay, I held it. My hair looks really blonde today. Oh yeah. Okay, good. You can tell the story because I need to like do that thing where I like post on Instagram and then like post it to my story. What am I? You said you had something to happen with the gas. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I can't even see myself. I know it's hard because of the windshield. So it's like you can never get high enough. You can just stick okay. your hand outside of the window like I did in Ali's car that one. Oh yeah. Okay, so here's the story about what happened when I tried to go get my gas. So, my debit card is like super old. It expires coming up pretty soon, right? And so, the last time I went to go get gas, like last week, it was saying, card not read, card not read, go see attendant. And I was like, this is so freaking annoying. Okay, whatever. So I go to the gas station today, and I'm like, okay, let's go get some gas. So I enter my card, or insert my card. And it's like, card not read card read air I'm like I just want to buy some gas so I'm like okay great I'll grab my handy dandy credit card and see the thing is I just moved back here and I couldn't remember first of all I thought I still had like the zip code as my Arizona address I don't thought I didn't change it so I'm like oh what was my old zip code couldn't figure it out so I'm like on the phone with my parents I'm like dad what was my old zip code do you have like my address in your phone he's like I don't have that one I'm trying to google my like apartments that I like lived in and of course like the internet's not working so finally he goes oh it's eight five eight five zero zero and I'm like oh yeah that's right so I type it in it's like mismatch zip code I'm like what the hell so I have to like try and go into the bank app to like find my address that's on file and of course it's my address here so it's just like the most annoying thing i had to cancel the transaction three different times because i couldn't figure out what the um zip code was i'm like they're gonna like shut my card off for fraudulent activity but it was me but that was my story it looks like it's going to like weather outside but it's like, looks better than the rest of the days. No, right there, not so much. Okay. Okay, so we are on the interstate, heading to Denver. Shocker, there's traffic and there's rain. Show them the weather, Catherine. But clear skies. Yeah. Also, it's like the rain just calmed down as soon as we finally got the camera out to show you guys. We were supposed to be going to the hot springs today, but since this is happening, now it's a Denver trip. Look at that. That was awesome. We are officially in Denver, and if you watch my vlog, then you already know where we're at. Where's the very first place that we have to go when we get into town? Give you a couple of seconds. I'll you a couple of seconds, but. I want to tell ya. Donuts. Donuts. Donuts, baby. So we are at Krispy Kreme's again. May I have a dozen donuts, please? And a cake one, too. Okay. May I have two cake ones? Two cake batter? Yes. Okay. May I also have a raspberry filled and a strawberry glaze. You guys think you want to pick one more? Okay. 
Okay, so do you want one more? Yeah. One second. And I'm sorry, but we are all out of the raspberry. <gasps> what? We came all the way from Colorado Springs for this. Okay, second time coming here. <laughs> the first time they told me they didn't have any bottled apple juice when they did have bottled apple juice. And this time poor Katie can't get her um her raspberry filled, so now she has to have a custard. I don't even think I'm gonna like the custard. I like it. <laughs> Alright, alright people, we'll be back. Okay, we are at Park Meadows Mall. We're literally using the family restroom. It's like how old is too old for you to use the family restroom restroom? with your child. Inquiring mind wants to know. Um, so we're at the Park Meadows Mall, so I'm gonna go to Forever 21, and I am hoping that they have the baby fat collection, because if they do, I'm gonna be trying it on for you all. So, see you soon. This is kind of cute. I've actually never been to like two concerts and two events like this year that I could have used a clear. Where they only let you use clear mm -hmm. and like you're under prepared. Yep. Literally me. Okay. Oh, that'd be cute. Oh, that'd be cute. Mm. Oh, that'd be cute. oh yeah. Oh, you guys. There's hats. Y'all know I love to try on a hat. You know we could have used these. When we went out on our thing. Coming. <laughs> Look at Katie getting her best tourist life on. That's actually kind of cute. If I was a 90 year old woman. If we were like on vacation. What do you guys think? I usually don't wear hats, but I feel like I could be this. This could be me. Like Meredith Lake in the parent trap when she like is all done and she tilts her head up. Oh yeah, that's really cute. Wait, I actually kind of really do like this part. What's, are they your size? Yeah. Those are cute. do an outfit of the day today since I'm at the mall since y'all know I don't have a full length at my house just wearing a cute little duster from Lucky American Eagle jeans forever 21 tank top and then I have these cute little boots from Macy's booties boots I don't know that's my outfit of the day in case you guys are wondering um but I'm in dress room at Forever 21 and shocker, there's literally nowhere to put your clothes. So Forever 21, if you're watching this, it would be really nice if we could have a school for our clothes. Because look, this is the whole dressing room. So my clothes are hanging right there. Luckily, they did have the baby fat collection, so I'm gonna be trying it on. I love it for you guys. I'm seeing if there's anything worth me buying. They did not have my size in a lot of it. I guess Boba has swooped in. Um, but what can you do? So I'll get back with you guys once I have something on. Okay, top number one. I don't know. Hold on. Look at this cover. Let's see. That's the back. This is the front. I'm trying to decide. Like it's cute, but like is it, I don't know. Is it me? Sorry, my thing's dangling. It's good. It's cute. It's all right. 
Oh, it's definitely like giving me old school vibes. Okay, top number two has this cute little like gold thing on it. It's kind of see through, I don't know if you can see. But it's cute or whatever. It's a little t-shirt. So the back is good. It's also crappy. Okay, outfit number three. If you guys know me, you know my butt is big. So this is a medium. Unfortunately, they did not have a large because I'm late to the party. So this will definitely be something I am not purchasing because I need a little more on the bottom. I guess I could maybe try pulling it up some. This isn't that good of quality though, so. I just need it in a large. This top is literally like a swimsuit. Cannot show you guys the back because literally my cheeks are out. <laughs> I'm gonna put some shorts on with it and I'll show you guys it with that. This is literally my handbag in an outfit look. Black and cheetah. Black and cheetah. Not really feeling this. You know, I don't know. I'm not. This is not me. Wait, that kind of is. Why does that go? Okay, last but not least, let me see if I can turn this around and catch this before my camera runs out of space. There we go. So it has this cute little rhinestone detail, which is cute or whatever. Or whatever, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. This is a good one. Okay, so bad news, bad news is that the SD card got full when we were in the mall and I was trying on the baby fat clothes. I mostly showed you guys like everything and trust me, I don't know. We'll have to have a conversation about baby fat. Sorry, this like light is blinding me. Um, so yeah, so I showed you guys mostly everything. We went to Lush, we went to Bath and Body Works and then we went and got drinks and food and now we're gonna head downtown and try to find some street art. Like, how amazing is all of this? So we're taking a bunch of pictures, huh, Kitty? Oh yeah. And you'll be seeing them on our Instagram soon. Coming soon to an Instagram near you. It's also really cool because there's like a bunch of people with cameras out so you don't have to feel like super awkward like <laughs> taking pictures and all that because literally everyone's out here taking pictures. All right, we did it. We got our street art. And now we are going to head to Ian's Pizza. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ian's Pizza. Katie will tell you the backstory behind why Ian's Pizza is so amazing. Okay, so Ian's Pizza is from Wisconsin. That's where I'm from. And every time we would go down to a football or basketball game, we would always hit up Ian's on Straight Street. Shout out to Ian's. Gotta get the mac and cheese pizza or like the taco pizza. They're all like specialty. So they have crazy different things on them. And there's like, around Thanksgiving, they have a, like a turkey one with like stuffing on top of the pizza. But yeah, so Ian started in Madison and then they opened one here and it was like best day ever. You guys, I didn't even know this was a thing here in Denver, but there's literally a Church of Scientology, which is like so crazy to me because I was like obsessed. With, I was obsessed with that Leah Remini show and now there's one here. Like how freaking creepy is that? Like what in the world? And like on her like docuseries, she said like all these buildings are like empty and there's literally like no sign of life around here. It's just like you can't even like see inside because all the blinds are like drawn. I don't know. Anywho, I just was like driving to go to Ian's and I seen that and I was like, Katie, get the camera. To fight a little dirty baby If I opened up and came then would you hurt me baby I've been feeling like an alien a refugee and outsider Alright 
Katie, tell us what flavors you got there. Okay, is it obvious? So two at the end. And this one is like a potato bacon ranch or something like that. This one is a chorizo taco. And this one's like Wait, what is that? Chorizo taco. And then this one is like Alfredo pasta. And that's the end. <laughs> Which one's the better one between the taco and the pasta? Um, it's a tie. <laughs> How is it, Ty? I am tired. It's what time is it? 9:20. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm tired. It's 9.20, finally back at home, thank goodness. Had a fun day out and about, but there's really no place like home. Sorry, my hair is crazy. I, th I didn't tell you guys about letting me be in front of the mirror. Maybe we can get away from here. Never go back, we'll never go back. So yeah, like nine something at night. Finally back home. Yay. So, like I, I don't know what happened. One of my SD card, I have two SD cards. One of them is fine, it's what I'm recording on right now. Let's me record, do whatever I want to, whenever I want to. My other SD card literally records like a little bit and then it just like does not work. And I don't know why, because they both have the same amount. They both are the same exact brand. Literally, I don't know, it's annoying, it just doesn't work. So we went to Forever 21 and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try on clothes. I got excited for the baby fat haul. Okay, if you're like me and you were baby fat like in high school and all that jazz, you used to shop at Demo, you used to get your little baby fat on, like, oh yeah, look at my baby fat top, the velour suits, all that type of stuff. I was like, okay, let's go and check this out. It's definitely not the same quality as it was back in the day. Uh, I don't know, it's nice that the price points were like, I don't know, less than $20 for everything. Like $17, $14. But the thing that sucks about it is literally it's $17, $14 materials and all that type of stuff. So, I don't know, I just wasn't really enjoying it that much. Like, the shirts were okay, they were mostly all like crop toppy, which was like cute or whatever, but I don't know. I. I think it was cute for what it was, but it wasn't all that. Like, it could have been better, and I think maybe having like a low end and a high end, so that way you could have things that are a better price, but you could also have things that are nicer quality, like the actual materials are nice, like the structure of it is nice, like you can put something on and you don't feel, I don't know, like it's just like, I don't know. I just, the quality just, it wasn't really there. So I didn't end up getting anything. That was a wash. But it wasn't a wash because I got to try it on. I got to let you guys see how it looked. You guys, of course, can make your own decisions about getting it. You might get it, try it on and be like, oh girl, mm, this is fly, this is me. Thank you very much. It just, it wasn't working for me. I don't know. I think having baby fat in the past and then trying on what baby fat of the future today is, I was like, uh, it's not the same. And then once again, back in the day, a baby fat shirt would be like $60 back in the day. The shirts today were $14 that, you know, so I get it, the price point, but it just wasn't, it wasn't anything on that. So whatever, after that we went to Lush, well we went to, we also went to Bath and Body Works, so, they were having their like sale, semi-annual sale, annual sale. I don't know. I feel like those are Victoria's Secret terms. <laughs> I don't know what sale they were having. They were having a sale where it was like a bunch of money off of stuff. And then also if you like have your email linked, they send like coupons in the email. So it was like you could get a percentage off as long as you spent over $25. So yeah, I got this, which was the black which was, which is the black raspberry vanilla. 
and that it smells really really good also I am a fruity scents type of person so don't be surprised so sun ripened raspberry all of these were like $3 they're usually $12.50 watermelon lemonade yes and yes okay don't judge but a bunch of these like <laughs> the hand sanitizer I feel like we go through these a lot what whoopsie um we go through those a lot so I actually just keep them in like my drawer because you can never have enough also bath and body works I think that they have the best candles like show me a place <sighs> the camera is not having it with me today y'all the camera is like Sunday fun day is over go to bed stop trying to record I'm tired of you I'm not having a battery your SD card is full oh it's okay though we'll edit this I don't know so this is like I'll edit this out and then I'm like you know what it's fine I'm gonna leave it anywho Back to the candle. Okay, all of the candles, which are $24.50, usually were on sale for like $10. I think that Bath and Body Works has the best candles. I don't know. What do you guys think is the what do you guys think are the best candles? I love their candles. I think they smell really well. Like the scent just like goes everywhere. So long story short is I got watermelon lemonade. <laughs> I really like watermelon lemonade. If you ever come to my house, I always have that as my house drink. It smells so good. So yeah, that was what I got at Bath and Body Works. We also went to Lush and got bath bombs. So I got, my son got bath bombs. I don't really take baths, so there's that, whatever. Also, the real reason I wanted to make sure that I came back, that I filmed an outro was for one, I just feel like I don't ever do outro. So hello, I'm gonna close out the vlog today. Also, my friend Elaine is starting her very own YouTube channel. I am going to cut this at some point and insert it. She gave me a shout out on Instagram, which was really, really sweet. First of all, I wanna shout out a friend of mine who recently um, started up her YouTube channel. Her name is uh, at Bella Juliet here on Instagram, I do believe. And um, if I'm missing an underscore or something like that, you can search for her in my friends list. Her YouTube channel is pretty inspiring. Pretty awesome. Um, she's a mom of a son. And um, she's just a, a really awesome woman with a great sense of humor and um, I really love her and being able to see her uh, personality shine through her YouTube page is just really like exciting and inspiring and so in addition to shouting her out I just want to announce that I'm also going to be studying my YouTube channel <laughs> And um, I shout her out because she inspired me to do that. And um, I do plan to make a video post on July 1st just because I love new beginnings. I love the, the first day of a new month. I love the first day of a new week. I love the first uh, segment of a new day. And. Uh, yeah, so July 1st, I'm going to post my first YouTube video. Now, I do have um, three total pages, actually four total pages here on Instagram. And um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to connect all of that, if I'm going to connect all of that. Um, but anyways, so if you want to follow me on YouTube, um, subscribe to my channel. My link is in my bio right now. Click that link, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and my first post is going to be about Ipsy, which you all may or may not have seen me post about. It's a subscription box, and I'm going to do a haul review type thing over it, um, and that's going to debut on July 1st. And after that, I think I'm just going to, you know...
say that with starting my YouTube channel, with everything in life, I feel like I'm always very, very blessed. I always have amazing support. My family, my friends, you guys always support me. To the viewers that I don't know personally, thank you for supporting me as well. But I'm very blessed in my support system. I could not do the things that I do or live the life that I live without having the amazing supports that I do have in place. So one of my best friends, Elaine, is starting her very own YouTube channel. And by starting, she did have a YouTube channel way, way back in the day. I don't know what happened to that. Maybe she has several channels. I think she said she has several channels. She's starting a new one. She's kicking it off. She's going to do like a cool reveal thing on July 1st. So make sure you look down in the description box below because I will be linking her channel. And I don't know. I just want to say thank you. I appreciate all of you guys. And I'm looking forward to growing with you. And I hope that you're enjoying my channel so far. And I know, I don't know. I'm just excited and I'm just looking forward to what we're gonna do together so that is all thanks for spending the day with me and i will see you guys all soon good night what time is it 9 31 out of here good night start your weeks great it's sunday who knows when i'm gonna post this but uh if i do happen to post it on a sunday start your weeks off great if i post it any other day enjoy your night enjoy your day have a wonderful evening a wonderful day love you all see you later goodbye I've been feeling like an